have something I want to say. I'm kind of a little bit upset, so I'm gonna try to contain me from really saying it. But there is some Yamabellas out there, some real Yamabellas, some real yam heads. Anyway, I was watching Unstoppable TV for a while now, and it's a nice program. Don't get me wrong, Unstoppable have nothing to do with this. They bring some nice programs, and we hear people's stories. But with these women, that is going to Jamaica, marrying to these men and bring them to America. You are all saying that, oh, the man them doing this and the man them doing that. In truth and fact, I don't hear one saying it like, what is the reason? On a real reason, on a real motive, for, motive for go getting these men that want to meet them. Every time I go on social media, them on the dating site. Anytime you see them, they crush out them and mingle with a back clean and them and a cup. But then you say, you know, this is who you're going to marry to. You're going to keep sending all this money to them. Right? But they can never yet uplift themselves with all the thousands of dollars you're going to send and give them. That should have tell you, said, you pick up a cruff. That should tell you, said, there's no way him gonna be a man of yard. Now, I'm gonna bring these men to America, Canada, England. I don't expect now them reach, them giving them a nightmare, them giving them an L, them giving them an headache, them degrading them, them beating them. them. Now, from day one, okay, we're not looking for love in the wrong place. But from day one, you all see that. The kind of man on a meeting is it because when I say to myself, Well, well, if I if I meet this, this if I do this for this man and the man then play a good game to them, telling them, Boy, baby, nobody never do this for me, you know, no woman ever do this for me, and I don't feel special. Yeah, Uno, Uno is special, seriously, Uno is really special, like seriously, really special, Uno is really special people. Now, I don't feel enlightened. Oh, no man never do it to you. So I'm boxing in on the face and I'm doing that and I'm crying and I'm going to beg. I hear the stories. And most of the women them who is telling these stories about their marriage, bringing men to America, men all over, Jamaican men. When you take a stop, the men them is the same thing. The same thing. Just different names, different faces, different personality, but it's the same kind of men who don't pick up. That not that just want to get a green card. Some of them don't even show if they want to get a green card. Them just want to know so they live on somebody. So is it the fact that all these women are listening to saying, well, I do this and I do this. Is it, just one, is it a controlling thing? Or is it that you want to say, well, if I do this for him, these men will appreciate. These men will love us. These men will appreciate us because no other woman ever did, did this for them. Right? But now I'm soon a bash Jamaica man say, oh, them are good and Jamaica man this and Jamaica. I am of I am deeply offended. I am deeply offended. And I'm here to defend Jamaica man. Real Jamaican men. We not talk the one them who love. Crush out the man maker. We go and be with them can't say a straight sentence decently. We go and be with them. I the money, you know, so I do a business, you know. And when you look, I'm going to send $200,000, $300,000, $400,000. One lady said she pulled out $90,000 of her money built house for a land that she didn't have no papers for but the man land. Then when the man done him, kick her to the curve. Then she turned around and bring him to America, marry to him and bring him to America. Then you know, going to turn around. I mean, I listen, you know, and every time I listen, you know, I bash Jamaican men. But you women, would not date a guy like me, a man like me. Who wouldn't date a man like me? Because I got a job, I got my own house, I got my own car, I wear nice jewelry, I wear nice clothes, I take care of my kids. 
I mean, I have a bag of kids with a bag of women. You women wouldn't date men like me because you all feel like I won't appreciate you know, because I can wash my own clothes, I can cook my own food, and I don't have to depend on your money to let me eat, to let me wear a nice sneakers, to let me drive a car. Because I date some man. I date some man. And the relationship don't get to go anywhere because this is only now. You know, you establish already. When you ask these women, what you mean, establish already? Come on, hear one of them. Ends. Well, you know, you got your, you got your car, you got your house, your house look nice. Um, I really want to meet a man that, you know, me and him can build from scratch. Build from scratch. So, basically, you gonna meet a man at certain age. And you want to go build from scratch with him. But Yanim is the same age, sometimes a little older, sometimes a little younger. But there's nothing him have. Only say, well, what me have to bring to your table? There's nothing me have to bring to your table. Because you establish. Why you not say, okay, since me have a house and you not have none, let me buy a house. Let me do a business. Let me buy a house and rent it out. How come you can do that then? How come you can't say you have a thing so well? Me established, so we don't need to find a man that is not established so we can establish together. I saw me Yamabella thinking that. Yeah, some serious Yamabella thinking that. Right? So, over the years, I realized a portion of, especially Jamaican women, they not trying to date men who is uplifting themselves they have a problem with men who is uplifting themselves they don't want to date those men because those men establish and them don't have to wait on these women to give them anything they can get them own things that should be a plus you bring to the table now since you come to a table that is set already just bring what you have to the table Bring what you have to the table. No, but no. No, you want to cry and label all Jamaican men as bad. I'm offended. I'm deeply offended by it. Because the good Jamaican men, they don't have time to be online. Every hour you check, the man that you know date is online on some dating site. You know, always can see them. A real man with a real job, with a real life, trying to do something, won't have the time never gonna have the time to sit online every time you check online you can find the man online on these dating sites a real man who have things to do who is trying to make a life who is trying to achieve something don't have time to be online every minute especially on a dating site looking for women yeah so if you go to jamaica and I walk up and down Women are not going to find when most of the good real men are going to work. Them going to them look at hustling. Them are hustle. Them don't even have time to look over them shoulder to see. So you're passing. But no, when you pick up the worthless man, then spend up on the money, bring them to America, spend up on the money, and then I say he's not even trying to help around the house. But think about it. He wasn't trying to help around the house in day one. Yeah? He wasn't trying to help around the house in day one, right? Because when he was sending his mo your money to, to, to them, they never yet can buy you anything. You go down to Jamaica, you send so much thousand dollar, you go down there, but them still cannot even pay for the coconut water you're drinking. Baby, you know, no money, you know. But you send them money. Them couldn't even put on something out of that money to even buy you back a coconut water. Ladies, come on. Come on, don't be a yamabella, don't be a fool. Yeah, you try one time and you see where a man depend. Cut. Cut. Some of them here not talk about, oh, is the sex, the sex good? And them can sex good. So why are you complaining then if that you know a pay for? If you know it's that you know pay for, and you pick up a worthless man and all him can do for me is sex you know, properly, then why complain? Why label up the good Jamaican man and we are going to work? We don't have time for the game. Yeah? Why? 
we don't label up all like Jamaica man. I'm deeply offended. I'm deeply offended that you don't want to classify the real good hard work in Jamaican men for the few. I never hear none of the talk about you know, pick up a man that have his own place and his own care and when you send fee man, him come and him build a life with him. I hear none of with them story then. Like, come on, when you realize you're not picking up the wrong people, what you do? When you're intimidated by a man that is striving, I don't want to be said, I am the breadwinner. If I don't put a roof over your head, come and meet somebody like that, you know. I meet someone who man like that. Me there with a girl and then she tell me. Well, I don't have anything to bring to your table. Because you establish. I want to find somebody that can um me and them can build from scratch. No, them go find it. somebody them want to build from scratch. Man, each up in a little apartment with them. Smoke weed all day. Drink. Friend them come over, cook. That's what you say, building from scratch. But you're gonna work and you wanna pay. You wanna pay your rent. And when them do take your car, you have to sit at work and wait. You have to sit at work and wait for him to come get you because he's busy with him friend them or he's busy with some other girl or check some other girl somewhere. But you have to sit and wait till him come pick you up. And it's not like you come home to a good a plate a meal where him cook. You still have to come home come cook. So you tell me, say, that's the scratch. You want to start? But now when it no work and you spend years and you waste your time, they just cause the Jamaica man them so them workless and them this no come on seriously me deeply offended me I listen to one woman I bash out the man them I bash the whole like Jamaica man them oh Jamaica man no good you pick up worthless trash so admit that shit admit that shit you all pick up some low life when you get two backs down and two kick down and then they say Lord me love him and him say more want some money and you still give him up I want a new car and you still jump out someone who was doing you know, two jobs when you was doing you know, two jobs before yeah you always doing your second job just to send that extra money to give him thinking when the man come to America and him start to work so now him come and him get a job you don't have a second job because you want to make your relationship and you want to make your relationship work because two jobs will take up the whole of your time so now what you do? You think the man will come help you? The man was not about that. All of the story end the same way. All of you women's stories start the same way. It mingle up the same way and it end the same way. So why you not come out now, come bash down Jamaica man? Eh? Because you don't pick up a few worth this one. Come on, change your energy strategy and see if you can attract some different energy around you. Stop look for a man that you know, feel like okay because him having care, him not gonna take too much chat from you. Basically, it's a controlling thing. You know, try to control people. You know, try to control man. I don't know, realize that that's you what know, I try to do. If you provide everything, him gonna love me and him gonna not do this and him gonna not do that. Hell no. But you know, intimidated with a man. Me see all woman. Me talk to all woman already. They come here, yo. See me? Look round. Why you need a woman? Why you need a woman? Cause your house clean, you cook very nice. You 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 you, you got a job. Like, duh. You got a job. So because all of that now, me must just then them look. Some of them are open your drawer, looking at you. Oh, you you, you fold your clothes in the drawer. Them start think messed up in them head. Oh, something he's too neat. Something is wrong right here. Nothing wrong. Wanna just like to meet the man them. Wanna have to wash them dirty clothes for them. Wanna have to fold them up for them. Wanna have to put them up for them. So when you when when you don't meet these men and these men are treating them bad, stop lay up the blood clot. Jump your command them about them. Jump your command this and don't labor all away. Like I'm deeply offended. I don't know if it looks like some yamabella behavior I don't know how to deal with. But I don't know how to come, come chastise down Jamaica man. I listen to you. I listen to you for hours now. I listen to you for weeks now and months now. Just a bash down the Jamaica man them so. Yeah? I don't just a bash them down. I don't want to make wrong choices. And you never yet go and talk and tell the public 
I want to meet some good man and I don't mess it up. Because I don't know what it is to appreciate a good, strong, real man. Simple, plain, yama bellers, yam heads.